welcome guys welcome to the new video today we will see how to create a flowchart so we will just discuss about this algorithm this algorithm just uh, contains two if statements and it is easy to create in flowcharts also so first you need to open a microsoft office in your phone if you don't have this app then you should go to the play store and download it so now we are going to the insert tab and we are inserting some shapes as you know in case of flowcharts uh, we need to insert some shapes to describe some comments like first i am choosing wait just a minute guys i am choosing that you can choose uh, a oval shape also or you can choose a corner blended rectangle so I am just searching for a corner blended rectangle and there is arrows, this type of arrows you can use also. Then here I can choose this shape. This is for the start and end statement. So for a command, I am choosing that uh, rectangle and from here shape styles, you can choose the desired shape style for your shape like i am choosing that one now you have to resize it by just uh, resizing clips you get in the outer boxes so i made it just a small and uh, a preview is given so now by double clicking it i can add text in it so here i i have written start now i have to choose the start hole and make it more bolder and uh, some i am just uh, changing its color uh, from <coughs> something uh, to look good i am and uh, i are also changing the font size also uh, to make it larger now you can change uh, the um, font styles also as for now i am choosing uh, 20 as font size and uh, i am now changing and the font style you can choose any of this as it is a float uh, flow chart you need uh, not to much decorize it so now you have to add another shape like a arrow so i am going for insert tab then i am searching for shapes now i am entering a down arrow which is uh, here here i found uh, different types of arrow so keep in mind guys you can easily move the whole arrow by choosing this button so everyone does uh, does not know this and they got uh, some mistake for doing it quick you should use these buttons and i am also giving some tips so stay tuned to my video and don't skip it so now you don't have to get uh, to um, add every shapes you need at the place so i am just adding uh, a few more shapes like i need a rectangle a parallelogram and a rhombus also so by searching you, you can find these uh, shapes so just I am uh, adding the shapes inside and when it is uh, needed in my flowchart then I am just uh, drag from this corner and uh, add into uh, the desired location. So here you can see I am just adding one by one um, the shapes. So it is easy to uh, add in the side because if you want to just add in the exact position then it is very hard to uh, choose the shapes and uh, locating their positions and then uh, to add their exact position so you can just and you can also copy these uh, arrows by pressing ctrl c in your physical keyboard so i am just doing that i am choosing this arrow and then copying it by pressing Ctrl plus C so you don't have to choose uh, from the insert tab 
and you can use it uh, very easily so here I am just resizing the parallelogram and I am done now I am I have to choose the safe tiles that I discussed before so I am choosing that one also that one only so now I am writing the command which is uh, given in the box now I have to choose and the font color so as it is given in the uh, the home tab so I can choose it from here there directly so now I am again copying the arrow and by pressing ctrl C and by pressing now ctrl B I can get the arrow so I am just uh, adding in the exact position by dragging the arrow now I need an another uh, parallelogram so I just copy it from the upper side I have just uh, draw so here I paste it and now I have to uh, just uh, remove the text under it uh, so I am like uh, right according to our algorithm it is uh, initialize i equal to 2 so I just uh, have written these few words so it is very clear if you need uh, to do it very quickly like in 10 to 15 minutes then you have to use a physical keyboard uh, only your phone keyboard does not have this control plus c and this control v this feature so uh, it is very uh, useful to use a uh, physical keyboard and from there also you can use the selecting picture by uh, pressing the shift and the left arrow key uh, so you can select easily the keywords you have to written on in the boxes so now there is time to keep a rhombus for the if statement you know that for a if statement you need two sides if it's yes then it is go to this side and if no then it is go to left side so for if statement it is a very uh, it is uh, given that uh, you should use a rhombus so i am just uh, giving the rhombus and now another arrow should be added first i am doing for the yes side means uh, if yes if uh, that i is equal to uh, uh, if r is equal to n by 2 then i should uh, then then this statement will go for this next rectangle so here the r uh, remainder variable which is uh, actually i am discuss uh, i will discuss this program in my next video and there you are gonna see how this r or uh, this uh, remainder variable is going to uh, calculate the remainder of uh, n which uh, when divided by i so then if i is equal to n by 2 so i am just removing these words and again i have to put if r equal to 0 then for r equal to 0 it will print that n is not prime now i am just uh, i am just uh, now i am just uh, resizing my cursor as uh, you can see there is a lot of problem in phone because of this uh, small screens so i have to resize it to give you the proper idea that what i am doing so now i have just uh, resize it and okay so here we go then print n is not prime and you can just uh, you can just change the orientation of these arrows by clicking that uh, round clockwise button so i am just uh, doing it and you can see that it is uh, going very fast and i can do it very easily also because i have all these uh, arrows uh, first i have to add all these uh, arrows or this shape then i can just uh, copying this i can use it in my flowchart so it will be very uh, quickly also and uh, and whenever you need this uh, you can use it just uh, by pasting it in lo this lockdown time you know that uh, it is very often we have to submit our assignments in uh, colleges or sc uh, schools also 
so they are also programming is there and you need to add flowcharts algorithms and uh, in if uh, you don't have any computer then you have to do it with your phone but in case of phone every uh, my friends and all i am seeing that they will need a lot of time means uh, from 40 to 45 minutes they need to do this flowchart only so by doing this some small steps or some small ad small advice you can do it very easily so if you like this video please support me i am i will try to try to come out with uh, like a genuine key um, contents and uh, help me um, for this uh, so thank you for watching and also thank you for your support uh, goodbye then uh, stay tuned for the next video so yeah just uh, i am just adding this uh, last keywords in that end so this is my flowchart i have created in just uh, 10 to 12 minutes Thank you.